it seem like we feel the same We love what we hate understand that when we make poor choices we have to take the consequences as well hello guys this is Yundel and today's share is about understanding that sometimes we suffer because of our poor choices and that goes with taking up the consequences as well it is not always easy it's painful and maybe we are struggling sometimes but we have to take the consequences as well i am sharing this with you today because many times i hear my friends and colleagues oh this is this and that they are complaining Yes, of course, they are complaining because of the poor choices they make. Yes, they make a poor choice and there is also a consequence of that. How to understand that? For me, you have to be mindful first what you are doing. Before taking a huge decision in this life, we have to pray for it, meditate for it, take it to the Lord in prayer. Again, I am not talking about religion. I am sharing my faith with you, my spiritual faith. Therefore, I survive this life journey. It's hard. Many times I am struggling. It's hard, but sometimes we have to take that rough road in order for us to learn. We cannot always take an easy road and be comfortable with that, with that poor, with that poor action, poor decision. You have also to take the consequences of that. Yes, we don't like it. Yes, it's uncomfortable, but sometimes we have to face it whether we like it or not. To understand this thing, you have to think first before you're doing such action. And for me, it becomes easier for you if you take it to the Lord in prayer, if you invite Him to be with you if you let him guide you and lead you every day understanding this situation guys it's not always easy it's hard but sometimes we have just to bite our tongue and go with him and avoid the regrets yes the, the, the regrets will be there but it is important that we have to avoid the regrets you made that decision you had a poor choices because each and every one of us we have choices we can say no or we can say yes from that poor choices there is always consequences we have to face whether we look or like it or not. Therefore, you have to be wise enough and sometimes we are not wise enough to think through things. We are not wise enough. It's hard because of our feelings. We are listening to our feelings instead of thinking wisely. Therefore, husband, said that use your brain first before your heart don't follow your heart follow your brain with the guidance of the lord with the guidance of the holy spirit you can really make it and your life will be easier believe me but always take it to the lord in prayer when you really want to live your best life yes we make poor choices get into a relationship that we knew would not be good or get 
in over our head in our spending. Yes, it's human. We all can make poor choices. But it says in Proverbs 24:32, I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw. There's always consequences follows of our poor choices, of our poor decisions. We talk about how important it is to let go of the past, to let go of the pain and failure and the bad break. Yes, that's true. We must learn to let go of things. But it's not easy. But you have to think before you let go of negative events. Remember the lesson you've learned from your experiences. You're doing yourself a disservice if you go through painful time and don't come out with what you're supposed to gain. Don't waste the pain and go through it again. You have to understand that you have been bringing pain on yourself before so be wise enough so you're not going to struggle anymore in this life the pain will stop if you learn the lesson and zip it up be big enough to see that here's where i missed it but i'm not going to do it again you have to comfort yourself yourself you have to say to yourself that you're not going to do it again yes i made the poor choices yes i will i follow my flesh and now i am suffering of the consequences be wise enough to be mindful to do not struggle again from those poor choices you have been made you have to think that God created you amazingly great. He created you full of mercy and He always gives you the grace to get through the consequences of the mistakes you made. You have to be mindful to think that, that there are always lessons in the pain that are for your good as well learn from that and try to do not do it again he is helping you to learn and remember what you've been experienced before it's not always easy i said but to understand all these things you have to go back and think and contemplate what you have done why you did those poor choices why you are doing hurting yourself again you have to understand that and you have the both to be wise enough be mindful that you are not going to struggle with your life anymore and it is a decision to make from your own side so Learn what it says in Proverbs 24:32. I applied my heart to what I observed and learned a lesson from what I saw and from what I experienced. We are capable of learning a lesson from what we have experienced. For me, understanding all these things, it needs godly wisdom. Why I am saying I need godly wisdom? Because I need His guidance, the Holy Spirit. Of course, what I am saying, I need His guidance. I need Him to lead my way. I need Him to be there for me. And how can we have Him? It's a constant communication through prayer and meditation. I am not perfect. I am not a fanatic person when it comes to God. But I am 
practicing my day to the life of prayer of, and meditation in order for me to survive life because it's hard it's easy for us as a human being to commit poor choices and in every poor choices poor decision we have made there are always consequences we have to face and most of it it's painful so stop bringing pain onto yourself you don't deserve that you can be aware of all these things when you have learned to invite god into your day-to-day life he is with you and his help is always free to each and every one of us. This is Yunda. Thank you for listening. Thank you for dropping here in my channel. I am sharing with you some blogs every day for you to remind that you are not alone of your struggle. I am struggling too. And I am sharing it with you how I survive life through prayers and meditation. I love you all and bye-bye. Like we feel the same, we 